Pineapple. Way of testing it, it's nice and ripe. The top of the leaves come out. Perfect, ready to go. Always cut a pineapple with a serrated edge knife. Slice off the bottom. Turn it back over and slice the top part. Now, keep that for later. Look at the core, the center of the pineapple, and slice down directly in half. Slice that in half. Take each quarter and slice them. It smells incredible. Lay it down flat and just slice that core off. So you've got this perfect sort of boat of pineapple. Slice underneath, but stop as you get right at the end. Slicing around the skin will make the pineapple easier to eat, but leaving it attached gives you more control as it cooks. Next, heat a griddle pan as hot as you can. Start off in the corner and push it down. So you really mark the pineapple. Two minutes on each side, and then just turn them. Really nice colour there, like that. Beautiful. I'm going to sprinkle them with a little touch of sugar. It's going to glaze them. Now, slice the top. Take out these beautiful glazed slices of pineapple. Uh, Next up, the spiced caramel. Now, start off with your pan. Nice and hot. Sprinkle. Four tablespoons of sugar in there. Just flatten it. Then add the seeds from a fresh vanilla pod. In a small dusting of Chinese fine spice. Never stir caramel. Let it sort of bubble and transform. Here she goes. Now I've got the colour I wanted. That's the perfect colour. Off with the gas. In with the butter. And then a couple of tablespoons of cream. Lovely. And then give that a little whisk. Add the rest of your cream. Nice. And just drip that spicy caramel over your pineapple. Mmm. Wow. Simple, elegant, and seriously impressive. Griddle pineapple with spiced caramel. A delicious treat all to yourself that tastes even better shared. And that makes the fish cake nice and fragrant. Touch of salt. Noki loves fresh pepper. So, pepper in 